Hey guys, welcome to MacDeco Robotics. It's been a while since the last robot project, so it's time to start something new. I have a concept for a cute robot with functional arms, and I made this video to talk a little about the initial specs. And as I have done with some previous projects, like Stegobot for example, I like to start with a cardboard model. As I was saying, I like to start with a cardboard model to get a better feel and perspective on the project. My concept of an ideal robot is that it needs to have personality, it needs to be friendly, and that brings us to the main feature, the head, which will have OLED screens to mimic eyes, will have a mouth to express something, and there is also room to play some sensors and, of course, some cute aesthetic appeals. As important as a friendly look, the robot must be functional, and the functionality of this robot is in its arms. The design is very simple and will have just a few degrees of freedom, but the main feature here is that it will have a linear mechanism to lift the arms, so it will be able to get very close to the ground and pick up objects. I will use a gripper like this, but it's split in two, one part on each arm. The back is designed to look like a backpack, and some electronics and boards will be accommodated here. This project will be supported by PCBWay. PCBWay is a professional manufacturer of high-quality PCBs, but these you may already know from some of my previous projects, like Stegobot and my new remote controller. Both use PCBs from PCBWay. What you might not know yet is that PCBWay also offers 3D printing and CNC machining services. It's very simple to get a code. You just need to upload your 3D file and choose from various material options. and some materials have color options as well as surface finish options there are also CNC machining, sheet metal cutting and bending and injection molding services from PCBs to mechanical parts PCBWay is the one-stop supplier for your projects as usual, I will make my own parts with a lot of handwork, using high-impact polystyrene sheets, PVC pipes, aluminum profiles, and I will also use some Lego pieces. And what about the name? Martin, my son, asked me to name the robot as Martin, so daddy had to do it. So that's it for now guys, the making process will be divided into a few parts, so if you are not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button right now to not miss the upcoming episodes. Bye!